The total solar eclipse was visible to millions on April 8th as its path crossed the country. Channel 8's Parker McGowan has more on Monday's event. Monday's clear skies featured the first full solar eclipse Americans could see since 2017. But during an eclipse, the moon actually gets dead between the sun and the earth, and it casts its shadow on part of the earth. And in that part where it's casting that shadow, which might be maybe 60 miles or 80 miles in diameter, there's a total eclipse. The Flint Hills Discovery Center put on their solar bration event, which featured telescopes, free activities, and some local astronomers. So this is one of the events taking place across all 50 states. It just happens to line up with the solar eclipse perfectly. And the solar eclipse that's happening today is special because it's one of the last ones that we're going to see for about another 20 years traveling through this much of the United States without having to travel outside of the country. The brightness of the solar eclipse can be so damaging to the eyes that the Foothills Discovery Center are giving away these free glasses that must be worn while looking at the sun. Some people at the event were even having some fun with some man-made projects using the shadow of the sunlight. Oh, we're doing citizen journalism because we want to record this historic event. And so we have all of our little tools so that we can take pictures of uh, what we see with the eclipse. From Manhattan, Parker McGowan, Channel 8 News. The event ended up with a grand turnout of over 300 people enjoying the once-in-a-lifetime scientific event. Be on the lookout for more things happening at the Flint Hills Discovery Center.